All right. So um, we're going to now... We just looked at how to, to pull in graphics that are already sort of set up in that black, red, green, blue format for the NES, uh, for you guys who might want to like share assets and things like that, um, once you've actually got them created in NES Maker. But um, what happens if you just have graphics? Like what happens if you just have, let me show you something like beta assets, um, graphics, something like this or tiles even and we'll look at tiles in a second too um here's a monster and i want to load this monster in into a tile set but obviously that's not in the format that i need that the, the like the hero was okay let's see how to pull this in to a monster tile set um so I, this is going to be hugely beneficial to a lot of you who want to create in like Photoshop or GIMP or even Paint or any other program that doesn't, you know, that's not a NES specific development uh, environment. Uh, first, I'm going to open that file up. Um, I'm going to go to NES Maker, Beta Assets, Graphics, and Bug Monster. I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to hit the force square aspect ratio. There you go. So this is my character. If I want to take a look at the sprites, here's the tiles. Here's the actual pixel by pixel. Turn that off. Um, so the problem is, is that I need this in that format. I, you know, I, I, if I, I need that in this black, red, green, blue format for Ness to even be able to understand what these values are supposed to be. Um, so how do I do that? How do I get from this? So... It, it, like if I loaded up uh, dummy palette right now, this is that dummy palette that I had. Like it does, none of those colors show through the dummy palette. Why? Because none are that red, green, or blue. So it can't. It doesn't have anything to correlate to. And in fact, if I render this out, it's all going to render black. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I can use this show bad pixels tool. And what that'll do is every pixel. If that's if I'm in show bad pixel mode, every Every pixel that I see is a bad pixel. It's one that does not quite conform to this black, red, green, blue system. Um, so what I can do, this has a black outline. I'm going to take care of that first. Black is not, that's not going to be black because this is going to be black. This black outline is going to be one of these three colors. I'm going to have black in my tiles in, or in my palette. Um, it's not going to be this black color. Uh, otherwise, this and this will be the same color. That's not what I want. I want these to be different colors. I want to take care of black first. Um, also notice this has too many colors. We can only have three colors in black. I have one, two, three, four, five six colors here like i can't I, that's that's too many colors so we're gonna have to do a couple things to get this guy down to the uh, level of colors that we can have so if you have really complex sprites or like bad dithering or, or stuff like that uh this this process can help with that too um i'm gonna make his outline the dark the the last color the 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 fourth color here all right uh so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get i'll put it in um red gray blue mode here so i'm gonna paint it with blue basically and I'm going to use my global color change tool and I'm going to click on anything that's black anywhere on this whole thing. Okay. Um, now I want his skin tone to be the first color. So that's red. Incidentally, it, that doesn't mean that red is red is red. It, it has nothing to do with it. Um, but I'm going to make his skin tone this initial color here. Um, so I'm going to get the global color change tool, the color red, and click on anywhere that's red. Okay, now I'm gonna want to, this is gonna get really tricky. What do I do with the rest of these colors? Well, I definitely want these to be a unique color and the eye, like this white of the eye to be a unique color because it needs to stand out against, man, I got the dog barking and the baby coughing. Whew, this is a crazy day, ladies and gentlemen. All right, um, so I want, the, I'm gonna make the white of the eyes and these teeth to be the same color and I'm going to make this light blue this color blue so then I'm down to three colors so uh I'm going to get blue and I'm going to make this this so essentially that will be if this is black that'll now be black the eye the eyeball will be black right there I'm going to make white and yellow this green value this third value okay now now what I've got is something that is in uh, well, not quite, because I also have to get the background, which is black. Now I've got a graphic that's in black, red, green, blue value, and I can look at it through a palette. So if I put it in enable palette translation mode, 
I can see it through a uh, NES palette on how it's actually going to look. Now, I don't re really like the way that this looks. Let me change the background just so I can, the color so I can see. This is what, actually, nope, I'm not going to do that. Um, change my mind. I'm going to keep this black. I'm going to make, instead of making the outline black, I'm going to make it the darkest shade of blue. I'm going to make his skin he was red in that other graphic. I, maybe I want him to be yellow. And I'm going to make his teeth like a bright, shining white. Or, hey, maybe I'll make him red, an evil red. Now I'm playing with actual Nest palettes to create a look for this monster. But, again, I needed to get it in that black, red, green, blue format first. That that four-color, uh, three-color plus transparent uh, mode. And that's how I could take a uh, graphic that's more complex um, than than the black, red, green, blue, or just doesn't fit at all as far as colors, and get it into the format that Nest Maker can use and can show up on the Nest. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to get my select region tool, top left corner, go to the bottom right corner, control C, and I want to make a monster tile set. So I'm going to make a 128 by 64 monster tile set, move my mouse to the top left corner. It's going to paste wherever my mouse is. I'm going to make sure it's in the very top left corner and paste. And there we go. And now I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it to my root folder, graphic assets, and I'm going to look for monster zero zero. This is, these are all my monster tile sets right here. Save it. Yes, I want to replace it. And then it's going to ask me if I want to reload my graphics. Yep, yep, yep. It's going to ask me three times right now. All right. So now I've got a player and I've got a monster. Um, and the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to use that same technique and we're going to load a uh, tile for background graphics.